Hi everyone, Mr. G here. Welcome to another Hooray art video where this week I will be highlighting the artist Andy Goldsworthy and his artwork. Throughout the video I will also be giving shout outs to students who have sent me their artwork. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on future art projects. Andy Goldsworthy is a British artist who specializes in sculpture, photography, and environmental art. I'm going to show you some of his artwork and then some environmental art that a friend of mine who's also an art teacher made at home, and some examples that I made with my two-year-old son last week. I hope you will be inspired by Andy Goldsworthy just like we were and find ways to make your own art of found objects at home or outside. If you do make your own Andy Goldsworthy inspired artwork, take a photo of it and email it to me and maybe I'll feature it in a future video. So here's the first artwork I want to show you by Andy Goldsworthy. And what you're going to notice, again, he's an environmental artist. So he's using objects from the environment, in this case, different shades of leaves, to set up an interesting composition. And then what he does with his artwork is sets them up, takes a photograph of it, and then that becomes permanent in photograph. In this next artwork, he's using sticks to sculpt on a water, very calm water, um, and then the reflection on the water actually makes it look like a full circle, even though it's just half of it sticking above the surface line of the water. So that's a really cool effect he created there. In this next one, he's um, putting leaves in a very still pond here, again, in an interesting composition. You'll see he usually uses kind of a circle composition, but the water is just sitting so still that the leaves are, are making this beautiful photograph for him. Um, but what he says about his art is that it's not about the art, it's just about life and the need to understand that a lot of things in life do not last. He understands that he will set up these artworks and that eventually nature will take over and they will not last forever. Just like this one here, you can imagine he's setting them up with the green and yellows, but eventually the leaves are going to die and they're not going to have that same effect. And in this case, if the river fills up with more water, that stream is going to rush away those sticks he set up too. Up next are some shout outs for some students who sent me their graffiti can project. I provided a link above to that video if you would like to create your own um, at home. First up is Scarlet in Kindergarten. I love your background with the people that you use. That's a really creative idea. Madeline, also in kindergarten, I love how you use the cool colors, blue, green, and purple on your graffiti can. Celia in second grade, I love your use of lines and the directions of lines change and some of your different kinds of lines you used. Eli, I love those swirly lines you did coming out of your spray can. That was a really cool idea. Lacey in first grade, I love your pink spray can and some of those painted colors you used on the wall look really nice. Lila in fifth grade, I love your value used on your can. It looks very realistic and round and your background looks great. Aaliyah in first grade, I love your hearts that you use throughout your artwork. It really makes it come together nicely. And Elena in kindergarten, really nice job with your spray can and some really cool uh, designs you did on your graffiti wall. Caleb in third grade, I love your warm colors you use throughout yours and your faces look really neat on your spray cans. And Joshua in third grade, I love yours and how you also did two spray cans was a really nice idea. So up next are some Andy Goldsworthy inspired artwork that a friend of mine made who's also an art teacher. Uh, these first examples are ones that he made inside. So if you're um, not able to get outside and make some Andy Goldsworthy inspired artwork, you could certainly do something like he did here at home. He used toothpicks for his examples, but you could certainly use things like Legos, silverware, crayons, anything you could really find at home. He's using a circular pattern similar to what Andy Goldsworthy often did. He put an apple in the middle here to change his composition. Then he changed it to a green plant. Then he put some salt there and did some fingerprinting in it to give a cool texture in the middle. Then he used these small little brown snacks to give a different color there. And then finally some carrots of different sizes for a nice pop of orange in that artwork. And here he's doing ones outside as well. So you could certainly get outside and uh, find some found objects in nature too, just like he's doing here. Similar to Andy Goldsworthy, you can see how he's finding different shades of leaves. Might not be the best time of year for that. Um, his daughter made this one, making a smiley face. Um, but you can obviously find anything you could use, whether it's sticks, leaves, pine cones, mud, you know, anything that you can use to set up a really neat composition. I love this one where he put different lengths of sticks in these two trees here and made a really cool line effect on that. 
And back to some student shout outs. This is for the Gironde artwork and Play Doh tortoises. I'll also provide some links above for those products if you want to make some at home. Riley in first grade, nice Gironde. I love how you did some really cool angles and some different designs in some of your squares. Sophia in third grade, really nice job following directions. I love the shade of purple you use. That light purple looks really nice on that project. Uh, Play Doh tortoise here from Channing in first grade. I love that green and blue together. Really nice job on the face detail as well. Liam in kindergarten, I love how you took your tortoise outside. It makes a really nice background for that photo. Grant, I love your use of green on your Play-Doh tortoise. I love green for the tortoise. Uh, looks really nice that way. Hadley in first grade, I love the expression on your tortoise's face, and I see some texture there on the shell. This one is from Jace, Lydia, Zane, and Mindy, who made a whole family of tortoises. Thanks for following along on that video and sending those in. Quinn in kindergarten, I love the little green bow on your tortoise's head. That looks really nice and cute. Gia in first grade, I love orange and blue. That's my favorite combination of colors. Those are complement colors. And Maya in third grade, I love green and red too. Those are also complement colors. Look really nice together and that has some nice circle texture on your shell. Finally, I have some Andy Goldsworthy inspired artwork that I made with my two-year-old son outside when it was some nice weather outside last week. Um, we used mostly pine cones for our artwork, and then there was another day we went for a walk that uh, we used some other ones. I'll show you in a moment. But this one here, we used pine cones. We stood some up in the dirt and then laid some out and put a little green tuft of grass there. I also took another photo here at a different angle just to see, also see sticks standing up in between the pine cones. We also took the pine cones and put them in this really cool shaped tree that we have in our backyard and also used some purple flowers. He really loved to collect those. We also lined them up on our neighbor's fence here and took a nice angle of the photograph there um, and then here we set them up kind of like a star and again the angle of your photograph that's totally up to you too after you set up your Andy Goldsworthy inspired artwork this is one that we did on our walk where we used some sticks and some leaves and put them on these pine needles that kind of dried out and turned brown and so it gave a nice contrast of color to the green in the middle so hopefully this video inspired you a little bit to make your own Andy Goldsworthy inspired artwork at home. So if you get outside or even if you do it inside, uh, take a photo of your Andy Goldsworthy inspired artwork and email it to me if you're one of my students and maybe I'll feature it in a future Hooray Art video. Until next time, please share this video with others, subscribe to my channel above, or watch other videos now with the links provided here. You can also leave any comments or questions for me down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And stay positive, always inspire, show creativity, and always be the best version of yourself. And get outside or stay inside and make some Andy Goldsworthy work.